So you clicked on the thumbnail thinking, ooh, chaos theory. Well, good. You saw the tier list, no reason to yap, so let's get right into it. Start off with, like, the worst first appearance in the history of ever. Like, ever. Tsukumimus. Like, this one was so hyped up through, like, the trailers and stuff, only to get, like, 23 seconds of screen time. Being generous. Anyway, it looks really good anatomically. The colors, not so great. But Spinosaur, Bias, I'm going to give it low A tier. I can't give it worse and I can't give it better. Now we have like the most forgettable appearance in the show. I had to search through four episodes just to find out it shows up with this picture and like another one in a crate and that's just about it. Anyway, it's supposed to be a Sorna Raptor and I really like that one so I'm going to have to give it probably low A tier, high A tier. It more felt like a time filler than anything and I think it's supposed to be a Sorna female. Could be a male. Either way, I really like those colors so as I said, A tier. For the first of the few that will be controversial on this list, Brachiosaurus. I, I can't even rate it. Like, it barely showed up at all. This is the best picture I got. This. The concept art. C tier. Just can't rate it. <laughs> What's that I smell? Controversy? Let's get into it again. I was never really a fan of the Steco design. I just don't like it for some reason. I don't know why, but, um, yeah, I just don't. So it's going to get C tier as well. Sorry, Steco. With that little streak of negativity there, let's get a palette cleanser. Uh, taking our first S tier is, drumroll please, it's, it's bumpy, I don't know what you expect, but it's bumpy, like absolutely zero controversy there, S tier, bumpy, bias, let's go. Now this is probably the second longest one I had to talk about today, so just sit down for that. Now I've heard some people say they really like the Pachyrhinosaurus design, and good for them, but I can't. It looks too chunky in all the wrong places, and it's just kind of drab looking too. And as another on this list, I just don't like it. It doesn't look good, and mostly Ornithischians in general for Jurassic World just don't look good. I just can't ignore the elephant feet, and it's still the second best Ceratopsy in the franchise, easily as compared to the others, but it's just, it's, it's not my favorite. Overall, I'm gonna have to go with B tier. I mean, Pecky's in my personal top five dinosaur, so I can't put it lower than B tier in good subconscious and self. But with that being said, I gotta be a bit of a harsher critic, because it's in my favorites, so... I mean, it can't be my favorite of this show. So B tier, I guess. Time for something else that would be potentially controversial, but I really like the Crocosaurus Baryonyx. It's not my favorite. I, I like the Sukumimus better. It looks more normal. But I mean, in the same franchise as this, this, and even this, why Barry gets so much hate for the Osteoderms. I thought they were cool. B tier. Now, if you are a Pterosaur fan as am I, you were not surprised by this at all. E tier. E for egregious. I don't need to say anymore, just E tier. Now I'm sure y'all can catch my drift here, but Compi's kind of the perfect middle ground here. Not awesome, and not egregious for its time. C tier. It's just middle of the road. In interest for a shorter video, uh, let's knock these both out at the same time. A tier for both Carnotaurus and Stiggy Mullet. Like the designs, they're just reskins, but I think these colors look cool, so A tier. Allosaurus. A tier. Look at it. Is that not cool? If not, Still, A tier. Don't think this is a hot take when I say this, but modern hadrosaurs are a lot cooler than the 80s ones. I like the big, beefy herbivores who can actually throw their weight around as opposed to the skinny kangaroo creatures. I mean, this one's got to be a bit split, because first we have the bioluminescent parasaurolophus, and then we have the regular ones. Now, for the bio ones, those were almost certainly done just for the merch purposes of it. I mean, they glow. They, they're going to sell well. They glow. And as for you, regular Parasaurolophus, I hate you, your picture was hard to take. I don't like you. B tier. Now for the Lux, it's going to be A tier. Because I like it. Now for the Atrociraptors, they're cool, but I can't have them in with like the, the Allosaurus of Lost Raptor and Sukumimus. So I think B tier. Good design, but there are better ones out there. Just all three of them in, uh, in B tier. Even Ghost. And the Mimus, a classic dinosaur that I didn't really like. I think even before JP, they had an Ornithomimus skull. Like, why didn't we base it off of that? The Jurassic World one's head is just too boxy. It lacks feathers, the pronated arms. It just looks odd to me. I like the real ones better. So, C tier. It's just not good to me. Now for more drama and polarity. Um, Rexy is easy S tier. I like the T-Rex. It's not scientifically sound or accurate, but I like it nonetheless. Same for the other T-Rex, who is currently unnamed as to whether it's Doe or Big Edie, which is a terrible name, but I like the D-Rex design anyway. <laughs> Sinoceratops. F-tier. 
D tier stands for divide tier. This separates acceptable from egregious, and that Sinoceratops is egregious. Another S tier, Nasutoceratops. I love these guys, love the color, they look cool. Um, I don't really love the uh, elephant feet, but I can look past that for the design. It's not accurate, but I like it anyway. I've been holding out on this one, I'm not really sure why, since this whole list is spoilers, but oh well. Um, the design, just mwah, chef's kiss. I mean, what a nice inclusion to the franchise. I wasn't even aware of this thing's existence. It's not super accurate, but I really like the design. I like the colors. I like the spines. A tier. Top of A, but not cracking S. Now time for that polarity I mentioned. An A tier and an S tier? Time for a Z minus unspeakable tier. Yes, we're adding a new one, and it's super dramatic. Pteranodon sucks. I hate it. I hate the Jurassic World Pteranodon. Stance sucks. Size sucks. Colors suck. It just sucks. Especially when we compare it to the golded one in JP3, like, if we took away the teeth, that is perfect. I mean, it just looks great as compared to the Jurassic World one. Like, what are they doing? I just have no limit to my dislike for this design, so I had to make a new horrible tier for it to go into, all on its own. I'm just far away from everything else, my least favorite design. Plus, we can't discount it being just cruel to that compi and other things in the franchise. Like, they just be dive-bombing for fun taking out small creatures that are minding their own business. I don't like them at all. Just don't. Now, for what you have all been waiting for, the best design in the entire franchise, not just Jurassic World, peak dinosaur media of all time, Bumpy Jr., S plus God tier, easily. Just goaded. Now remember to like, subscribe, comment your own opinions on the thoughts, what you would change about the ranking, and uh, let's get into the outro. All right, I thank you all for uh, clicking on my stupid list. I mean, it's just it's just me being silly. Like, it's nothing more than that. All my opinions are subjective. Think whatever you want. I'm rambling now, but I gotta close out. Um, remember to be a good person. Be able to take a joke. God bless you, have a good day, and most importantly, thanks again for clicking on this video. Peace!